Thank you, Jesus. Shalom and God bless you, people of God. I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you. Even this day, we thank you. As the world is on their celebrity, on their you know, festive mood, Father Lord, we bring you our own gifts, the gift of our heart, the gift of our lives, as the wise men brought the gift to Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we bring you the gift of our lives. Father Lord, to declare that Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We thank you for unto us a child is born unto us, the son is given and the government is upon your shoulder, Lord Jesus. And your name is called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of your government, of your reign, there is no end upon the throne of David to govern it, to establish it, to uphold it with justice and righteousness. For the zeal of the Lord of hosts has performed this in Jesus' name. I want to speak to parents concerning, you know, let's follow the example of Job as many of our children are, most our children have traveled or families traveled, you know, going about celebrating in this season. I want us to Let's read what Job do, what Job did in his time. The Bible, let's, let's read Job chapter 1. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. Sorry, let me read this, this for now. And that man was perfect and upright. Let's get that word. And one that feared God and eschewed evil. The Bible said that Job feared God and eschewed evil. Job had his family, his children together in the fear of God. And there was born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household, a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. The greatest of all the men of the East. But he feared God. He trembled before the Lord. Verse 4 says, And his sons went and feasted in their houses, everyone his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so when the, the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. And for Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and caused God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. Job was so conscious of keeping his family in the fear of God. He was so conscious of seeing that his children will not perish. He's so conscious of seeing that his family, the Bible says that the bishop is one that ruled well his household. We are looking at a man that ruled well his own household. Even in a situation where he may not be able to control the situation, he persisted in prayers, in seeking the face of the Lord on behalf of his family. The word of God said that the children were feasting in one another's house. And, you know, this one, the time of the feasting, we invite the rest and they will feast with their sisters. And we go. So whenever they finish feasting, Job will rise early in the morning and sanctify the children. For he said, maybe during their feasting, maybe during such time, they might have caused God in their heart. This shows how much Job reverenced the name of the Lord. How much Job 
was clothed with the fear of God. How much Job honored God to the point that he was standing in the gap for his family, for his children. He was the priest of his own family. Even though when the children may be careless in what they do, he felt that maybe in their secret heart they might have caused God. Or maybe during their feasting they might have maybe uttered some idle words and never cared about it. Job would go and intercede for them. The word of God said that Job rises, Job rose early in the morning, early morning, to make this sacrifice. Why early morning? Because God appointed us to meet with him early morning and every evening. David said in Psalm 5 verse 3, My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. God asked Job, Have you commanded the morning since your days that the day spring you know, may, that the day spring may shake the wicked out of the earth. So Job was rising early in the morning on behalf of his children. The Bible says that he, he offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. When we talk about the burnt offering, it's like pleading the blood of Jesus, you know, sanctifying his children, his family, with the blood of Jesus, consecrating his family back to God and asking God for mercy, asking God for mercy on behalf of his children. It may be that my sons have sinned and caused God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. I want us parents, as our children are going about, you know, during these festive times, going, you know, going to visit friends, eating and dining in houses. The word of God even said that a man's enemy shall be those of his own household. There have been times many people go to, you know, um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving times, uh, some of these um, festive occasions. Many people travel and never returned. But may it not be the lot of our families and our children in the name of Jesus Christ. So before all these times of traveling, it is good that parents are to gather their families and commit the families into the hand of the Lord. Whether you are traveling with them or not traveling with them, whether you are parting with them or not parting with them, whether you are, Job, the Bible said that Job did this in case his children have sinned against God. Let us be conscious of presenting our children to God and asking God to have mercy upon our children standing in the gap. You know, what God is always looking for is somebody to stand in the gap. Even for a whole nation, God is looking for just one person to stand in the gap. Even when a whole nation is going to hell, God looks for one man. God looks for one man to stand in the gap. The father's he wants the fathers to be the priests of the family. Where there is no father, let the mother stand as the priest of the family. Rising early in the morning to cry unto God on behalf of your children. For me, the Lord asked me to rise every 4 a.m. to cry unto him for my children. So that the enemy will not steal our children. So that the enemy will not have occasion to destroy the lives and the destiny of our children. As our children move about, we see that the whole world lies in wickedness. Then let us always cover them in the blood of Jesus. Let us also pray that even when we cannot control the situation around their lives, even when we cannot control what they do, let us 
continue with prayer because the Lord, the hand of God will reach them. The word of God says it is not the will of God that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That the hand of God will cover them. I see that whenever I pray at 4 a.m., I see the power of God surrounding them. You know, I just listen to one testimony, um, uh, one testimony, uh, yesterday evening, um, here on YouTube. And, um, in that testimony, somebody was saying that the person that was serving in service of Satan before he turned to Christ said that he was about to go into operation. And suddenly he saw a column of fire stopping him from moving. And he tried to know why the column of fire was there. It was children pretending to have service with one another. Children pretending to pray for one another, behaving as though they are in church. But even though they are pretending they are in church and praying and casting out demons in the name of Jesus with their fellow children, the presence of God came mightily upon them and there was fire surrounding them and that fire was disturbing the operation of satanic activity at that moment so when we rise up to pray for our children we don't know what the fire the work the the angels that the lord dispatches at that hour to fight on behalf of our children and to fight on behalf of our families even when our children don't want to listen to us we have to continue to stand in the gap on their behalf and to pray that god's mercy shall surround them god said concerning david and the offspring of david that if his children break his covenant if his children do not follow in his statutes that he god will visit their transgression their iniquities with stripes but his loving kindness will he not remove from them neither will he remove his covenant of mercy and faithfulness from them therefore god's mercy and covenant god's covenant of mercy is sure mercies he will not remove it from us and our children so let us continue to plead the blood of jesus and let the lord be the one to deal with them and convict them if when when they have done things carelessly in their merriment that them that day as we continue to stand in the gap continue to sanctify them by the blood of jesus whether they are far whether they are close that the blood of jesus will reach them that the mercy of god will cover them that the um the angels of god will surround them the word of god said the angels of god encamp round about them that fear the lord and deliver them that the angels of god will deliver them that when they are on the road when the enemy set trap against them on the road that the lord will send his angels afar off god is faithful god is very faithful god is faithful there is none like him he is faithful when we call upon him he answers us he goes ahead he said before you call i have already answered why you are still praying i have heard Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Father, we cover our children in the blood of Jesus. Even in this season, as they are partying about, as they are going about saying they are celebrating Christmas. Father, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. I call upon the name of the Lord. I plead for mercy on our behalf, on behalf of our children. Father, Lord, King of glory. Father, Lord, whatever they are doing this time, oh God, we... We ask you, O oh God, that your mercy shall surround our children, that you send your angels to camp round about them and deliver them. Deliver them from accident. Deliver them from, from O oh God, King of glory, evils, from unfriendly friends, from evils that are set, O oh God, against them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We surround them with the blood of Jesus. We ask you to cleanse them. For the Lord King of Glory, in every way they have sinned against you, that you forgive them and cleanse them and sanctify them. And just as Job was sanctifying his children, our Father, we plead the blood of Jesus to sanctify and consecrate our children and our families back unto you in Jesus' name. For all things are possible with you. Blessed be your name, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen.